Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope you are doing fine. Alhamdulillah, we meet again this week and we will continue learning about topic 7, get dressed. And today's focus, okay, or today's, today's lesson is reading. Okay, so let's start English, learning English with me, Madam Liana. Let's go. Okay, so I will explain the learning objective first. By the end of the lesson, pupils should be able to 1. Guess the names of the four super friends 2. Listen and read a picture story entitled The Cap 3. Answer some question related to the story Okay, hari ini kita ada tiga objektif pembelajaran. Okay, di akhir pembelajaran, murid-murid boleh. Yang pertama, teka nama-nama empat super friends. Okay, this one you have learned last year during uh, when you were in year one. Okay, number two, dengar dan baca sebuah cerita bergambar bertajuk The Cat. And three, Jawab beberapa soalan berkaitan dengan cerita, cerita The Cat ni. Okay. So, let's start with activity 1. Characters and story review. Let's review the characters and the story. Okay, so for activity 1, I will show you the characters and also the story. Okay, the story that you have learned in topic 6 all right so here as you can see there are four characters characters means wata okay wata wata ada empat wata and these are the characters one two three four now what i need you to do you have to guess the names of the four super friends Okay, cuba teka nama empat orang super friends ni. Okay, let's start with this one, this girl. Okay, what is her name? Okay, her name is Misty. So, I'm Misty. This is Misty. Ini ialah Misty. Okay, let's look at number two. This, uh, she is also a girl and her name is Flash. I'm Flash. Okay. Misty Flash. Okay. Now, there are two boys here. Okay. Let's look and let's guess uh, guess the name of this boy. I'm Whisper. Okay. I'm Whisper. So, this is Whisper. And last one. I'm Thunder. Okay, so this is Misty, this is Flash, this is Whisper, and this is Thunder. Okay, all the characters uh, that you see here, okay, you will find it again. Okay, you will meet them again in the story and title the cap after this. Kamu akan jumpa watak-watak ni dalam uh, cerita yang bertajuk the cap sebentar nanti. Okay, let's look about okay let's take a look at the story review okay this one is from page 74 and 75 you need uh, topic 6 okay so the title of the story is at the house okay ini adalah cerita sebelum ni dalam topic 6 okay tajuk sebelum ni okay uh, dan tajuk cerita ni at the house okay what happened in the last episode? Apa yang berlaku di episode terakhir? Okay. So, some clues here. So, there is the old house. Okay. These are four super friends. And then, spiders, rats. Okay. And then, Misty here. Okay. So, what happened in the last episode? Okay, there is an old house. Okay, ada sebuah rumah usang. Okay, 
Okay, and there are lots of spiders and rats inside the house. Ada banyak uh, spider, laba-laba dan juga tikus dalam rumah tersebut. Okay, Misty look after her friends by going into the house. Jadi, Misty ni dia pun masuk, uh, dia pun cari kawan dia. Okay, mencari kawan-kawan dia yang lagi tiga orang tu dengan masuk ke dalam rumah itu. Alright, so moving on to activity 2. Okay, a picture story. Let's listen and read a picture story. So after this, I will introduce to you a picture story entitled The Cap. Alright, so you may refer to page 86 and 87 in your Superminds textbook. Kamu boleh kamu boleh rujuk muka surat 86 dan 87 dalam buku teks Supermind kamu. Okay, so you will see the same page okay, that I inserted here. Okay, this is page 86 and this is page 87. Alright, so before we read or before you listen to the story and read the story, okay, I have one question. Teacher, ada satu soalan. Where are the four friends at the beginning of the story? Di manakah ke um, empat sekawan ni pada permulaan cerita ini? Ha, di mana diorang berada? Okay, so let's take a look. Okay. Picture. Frame 1, frame 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, let's find out the answer. They are in school. Mereka, sedang, mereka berada di sekolah, kawasan sekolah. Alright. So, listen and read to find out who hasn't got their cap and where it is. Okay, selepas ni kamu perlu dengar dan baca untuk cari, okay, siapa yang tidak dapat uh, topi dan di mana ia berada. Maksudnya siapa yang kehilangan topi, okay, dan di mana topi itu berada. Okay, I hope you can pay attention by listening and reading the story after this. Students' Book Page 86 1. The Cap Huh? My cap isn't here! Oh no! Look! Gary's wearing my cap! Are you sure? Maybe Gary has got the same cap. Stop! That's my cap, Gary! No, it's my cap! Get my cap, please. No problem. Ah, ah! Hey! Ah! Thanks. Oh no! That's my cap! I'm very sorry, Gary. It's okay. Alright, so you have listened to the story of the cap. 
So now I will explain the story in details. Okay, sekarang teacher akan terangkan uh, jalan cerita ataupun cerita the cap ini dengan lebih terperinci. Okay, so let's look at frame one. Okay, my cap isn't here. Okay, topi saya tidak berada di sini. Okay, so whisper lost his cap. Whisper kehilangan topi dia. And then flash say, oh no. Oh, tidak. Okay, frame 2. Look, Gary's wearing my cap. Okay, whisper cakap, tengok. Gary sedang memakai topi saya. And then flash say, are you sure? Adakah kamu pasti? Misty said, maybe Gary has got the same cap. Mungkin Gary ada topi yang sama. Okay, frame 3. Stop. That's my cap, Gary. Berhenti. Itu topi saya, Gary. Then Gary said, No, it's my cap. Tidak, ini topi saya. And then four, frame four, whisper said to the animal. Okay, because uh, whisper can speak to animals. Okay, whisper uh, boleh bercakap dengan haiwan. Get my cap, please. Okay. Dapatkan topi saya. Tolong. Okay, then the bird said, no problem. Okay, tidak ada masalah. Then, frame 5. Okay, the bird stole Gary's cap. Okay, uh, burung ini telah mencuri. Okay, mengambil topi Gary. And then Gary said, hey. Okay, and then 6. Whisper got his cap. Okay, Whisper dapat topi, topi dia. Tapi sebenarnya topi Gary. And then he said, thanks. Terima kasih. Frame 7. Okay, oh no, that's my cap. Okay, Whisper said, oh tidak, itu topi saya. Which mean, this is not his, this is not his cap. This is Gary's cap. And this one is his cap. Yang kat sini lah. Sebenarnya topi whisper. And then whisper said, I'm very sorry Gary. Okay, saya 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 minta maaf Gary. Dan Gary said, it's okay. Okay, tak ada apa-apa. Okay, so. I have two questions here. Ada dua soalan kat sini. Who hasn't got the cap? Siapa yang tak ada topi? Siapa yang kehilangan topi? The answer is then, Whisper Okay, Whisper yang kehilangan topi And where it is? Kat mana topi tu berada? In his bedroom Under the chair Okay, topi dia sebenarnya berada di Dalam bilik tidur dia ha, Ni dekat sini Under the chair Di bawah Di bawah Kerusi ha, Ni kita tunjuk sikit ha, Kat sini Okay So The value of the story Okay Pengajaran cerita ini Saying sorry Okay Do not embarrass Do not embarrass or be shy to say sorry Jangan rasa malu Okay Untuk meminta maaf Okay So who said sorry Siapa yang minta maaf Whisper. Okay, Whisper said, I'm very sorry, Gary. Saya minta maaf sangat-sangat, Gary. Okay, so it's good for us to say sorry when we make mistake. Okay, pengajarannya bagus untuk kita meminta maaf sekiranya kita telah membuat kesalahan. Alright, so let's listen one more time and repeat. Okay, kamu dengar sekali lagi dan kamu ulang. Okay, cuba baca bersama-sama. Okay. Students book. Page 86. 1. The Cap. My cap isn't here. Oh, no. Look, Gary's 
is wearing my cap. Are you sure? Maybe Gary has got the same cap. Stop! That's my cap, Gary. No, it's my cap. Get my cap, please. No problem. Ah, ah! Hey! Ah! Thanks. Oh, no! That's my cap. I'm very sorry, Gary. It's okay. Okay, so we move on to the last activity, activity 3, which is worksheet time. Let's do some exercises related to the story that you have read just now. Alright, so this is the worksheet. I will share it in our WhatsApp group. Okay, please do the exercises in your E2 book. You may print and paste it in your book or you can copy and write the answers. Okay, buat semua latihan ni dalam buku E2 kamu. Okay, kamu boleh cetak dan tampil dalam buku atau kamu boleh tulis, salin dan tulis jawapan kamu. Okay, let's say you copy and write. Okay, jika kamu salin dan tulis, okay, no need for you to draw the pictures. Okay, tak perlu awak uh, lukis kalau awak salin guna tangan kan. Okay, uh, you just write the answer. Kamu tulis je jawapannya. Contoh nombor satu and then tick. Okay. So, I will explain the exercise. Okay, number one, listen and tick the box. Dengar dan tanda, okay, tanda write ni di kotak. Okay, after this, I will play the track, okay, the audio clip for this activity. Dia cakap mainkan uh, at, uh, audio untuk aktiviti ini ok, so kamu kena dengar dan kamu tick saja di uh, di box yang betul number 2, write the names who is wearing these shoes, this cap this skirt, ok yang ini kamu kena tulis nama ha, tadi teacher dah terangkan kan karakter dia ada 4 ok, uh, 4 super friends and then one more Gary satu lagi watak Gary so tulis nama dia dekat bawah ni Siapa yang pakai kasut ni? Siapa yang pakai topi? Siapa yang pakai skirt? Okay, tulis kat sini. And then last one, match the dialogues with the pictures. Padankan dialog dengan gambar. Okay, so padankan. Okay, one, two, three, four. Kat sini ada box kan? So, awak tulis box kat dalam box ni. Okay, let's see number one example here. This is number one. And then find number two, gambar mana? Number three, number four. Okay, so now I will uh, play the audio for this activity. Workbook, page 86. 1. Listen and tick the box. 1. My cap isn't here. 2. Are you sure? Three. I'm very sorry, Gary. Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you. If you have any questions, please ask me. Okay, so inshallah, see you next week. And bye. Assalamualaikum.